In this video, we want to talk about Google Analytics. Now, if you go to Google, type in Google Analytics, here it is. This is um, the site we want to go through. So we'll click through to it and have a look. Now, Google Analytics is a great site. It's got, got lots and lots of information on it. It basically tracks everything that happens on your website. So you can see here is our site. If you've got a Google account, you should be able to just click here to access it. If you haven't, then you can sign up here. Now you've obviously got some um, a product tour here and bits of other information um, around here that's very useful. Uh, if we just click on education for a moment, just want to show you what's under here. Okay, this is the education page. There's uh, um, some tests here you can take if you want qualifications, some seminars. And the, these are the ones that I'm really, really interested in down the bottom here. Now, we're going to have a quick look at analytics, but to be honest, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail because, frankly, everything you need to know is in here. And this is going to tell you a lot more information that I could give you and a lot more in depth. It's going to give you a lot more value. So, you go to the Google Analytics site, you click on education, and then we come through to these. You've got um, tips and tricks there for using AdWords. This is about um, integrating it. Um, you can look at their uh, YouTube channel. Um, but this is the, the one we're particularly interested in, beginning analytics. Okay, and you can see down here, you've got a lot of the videos. Um, and obviously there's the main video here as well so you can use this um, quite easily um, you see there's an awful lot of videos on here a lot of people subscribe to it it's very very good information for you um, you can see here um, how to configure goal I mean the, the stuff you can do with Google Analytics is incredible it really really is and a lot of this um, information here is going to save you a lot of time because you know yeah I could show you how to use all this but these are the people from Google themselves showing you how all of this works so you can see you've got a lot of very very good information there that you can use to uh, understand how analytics works now if we come back here and we'll just access analytics now now Google Analytics is free for you to use and it's extremely powerful I'm not going to show you the inside because to do so I'm going to have to show you all my websites, all my statistics and everything else. So I can't do that. But if you go through to the education, to the YouTube channel, you'll see exactly how to use this. But what, what, what I want you to realize is that Google Analytics will show you everything you need to know about your website. It will show you incoming visitors. It will show you uh, what keywords people found your website through with analytics. You can link it in with your AdWords account, your AdSense account. It will do a fantastic tool. It will overlay a heat map of your website that basically shows you where people are clicking on your website. So you can see you know, if you where, whether your adverts are performing, which ones are performing well and getting clicks and which ones aren't. So it's extremely powerful. And basically all you do is you add a web page. It gives you a little piece of code and you just copy it into the footer of every single page. Now if you're using something like uh, WordPress, it's very easy, you just put it into the footer PHP. Anything else, you just put it on the footer of every single page, it's very simple. But by using this, you can track how many people are coming in, um, where they're going, how long they're staying on your website, all sorts of things like that. So if you see that you've got a high bounce rate, you know, people aren't staying very long, then obviously you've got to work on the initial impression of your website so that people do stay later. Now, the other useful feature of Google Analytics that you really ought to have a look at is what we call um, the goal conversions. Now, we saw a video in under the education section for it about converting goals. Now, what this does is this is useful for things like sales letters. What Google Analytics will do is track how many people come to your site, how far through the purchase process they go, where they drop out, and how many reach the final uh, page, which is very, very powerful. So that gives you a really good idea of you know, more than just a conversion rate. With the conversion rate, you not just know how many people buy. But with this goal tracking, you can work out how many people 
you know click through to the payment page how many people then click through to order how many people drop out when and where so you may realize that you're getting you know uh, 10 in 100 clicking to order but only one in a hundred are actually completing the order process in which case there's something wrong with the order process that needs fixing so you know you can really look into more than just the conversion rate with a feature like that so it's very very powerful and honestly it's something that you really need to be using um, you need to come along and have a look at your statistics and uh, basically you can get so much information um, if you're using CPA offers you can also determine where your visitors are coming from which countries they're coming from so you'll be able to see where the majority of your visitors are coming from and maybe you might want to install some sort of geolocation script or something like that so that you can direct people to the right sort of adverts if you know 75 percent of your traffic is from the USA then you can pretty much just put USA adverts on there and not worry about the rest too much however you may find that your traffic's fairly well distributed between the USA, Canada, Europe, Australia, and I don't know, say India. In which case, you may need to do some smart geolocation to work out who who goes where, basically, and who sees which version of the website or which adverts, and so on and so forth. But Google Analytics is very, very useful. It really, really is. And um, as I said. I could sit here and try and show you some of it but frankly we're only going to scratch the surface um, to really sit down and show you how to use analytics would be here for hours which is why I think you need to go to the education and go through to the um, their video channel and go through there um, if you click on education and go to the beginning um, analytics that's going to give you everything you need to know it really really is so um, you, you know there's there's a lot in here that you can potentially use to really understand your conversion rates. Now we've looked at analytics very very quickly. What I want to show you now is AW stats. If you're on a web host that has cPanel, then you will have AW stats hopefully built in. AW stats is a sort of a light version that gives you a rough idea of some statistics. Pretty much it's all you need to work out conversion rates. Now this is a, a sample, a, a demo of it that you can see and you can see here it tells you how many visitors and you can see some useful information appearing in the, the top here. So what we're interested in is here you can see how many people coming in each month and here you can see how many visitors you get per day. So this is very very useful. Basically what we want to do is we, this is the figure we want to take. So we set our conversion going on say the 10th of April. Um, uh, on the 1st of April sorry and we're now on the 10th so we've had we scroll up 214 visitors so far so you know you may say well that's enough for the statistical sample I want so you know you say you make your change on the 1st of April and now it's 10 days later we've had 214 visitors we check the conversion rate so we see how many people have bought so it's 214 okay so if we've made um, two sales we know our conversion rate is around about two percent basically um, it's a very simple calculation so we've just opened a, a calculator window here so we can have a look at it so we've had 214 visitors and say we've made two sales in that time so it's two divided by the number of visitors so it's the number of sales divided by the number of visitors that gives us a lovely long figure there and then you times it by 100. Okay, so our conversion rate is at 0.93, so it's under 1%. So let's say we've made um, seven sales in our 214. So be seven divided by 214 times 100. We've got conversion rate of, say, 3.3. .3. We round it up. So our conversion rate is 3.3 .3 from that. So that's pretty good. So that's all you do is you leave it for a certain number of visitors then you perform this calculation and you note down the the conversion rate and you you track it and you see how it's improving and how it's not improving for example and then you know whether your changes work so if on the next time I've had 212 visitors 
yeah the next 10 days I've had 212 visitors and I've made um, let's say six sales I can do six divided by 212 times 100 you can see my conversion rates 2.8 so it's gone down so whatever change I made would have done uh, hasn't really improved it so it's very very important that you just calculate your uh, conversion rate like that now if we go down as well the these are interesting statistics as well you can see when people visit your website you may find um, that maybe on your niche people come to your website on at the weekend they don't really visit it during the week or it might be the other way around it might be that your website gets lots of visitors during the week but the weekend the traffic disappears here you can see the hours of the day uh, this is on obviously in the server time not your local time so you can see how many what hours of the day people visit how many people visit what when um, this is also very very useful here uh, you do need to know this information this tells you where people come and visit your website so you can see on this particular demo uh, I've got 138 uh, from United States 107 from France and then it drops off significantly so um, you know you can click here to view the full list this will show you all of them so if I was displaying CPA offers here I would know that the majority of my traffic is from the United States but I've got a lot of French visitors as well so I'd have to display something specifically for them otherwise potentially I'm missing out on a lot of traffic and you can see there's a bit more information as we scroll down um, particularly of interest is here again you can see what pages people are finding within your website so again this is useful for you to to understand um, what people are reading in your site uh, this one up here with just a slash is your home page but you may be surprised to realize that actually there's loads and loads of visitors one particular page so if that's the case and it's not converting well then all you need to do is focus on that page if the majority of visitors are coming to your home page and it's not converting very well then what you need to do is focus on the home page first improve the conversion rate there and then apply what you've learned to the rest of your pages um, we're not so worried about uh, operating systems or browsers uh, but what we are interested in is down here you can see the key phrases that people come to visit your site from so this is basically what they're typing in Google again this is useful for you to generate traffic and understand what's uh, how people are finding your site and you can see here pages where they come to your site and how they've got there so this is AW stats and you can see it's got a lot of useful information in um, one reason to use this is it's a lot easier than uh, Google Analytics and you can very quickly come in add up your visitors work out your conversion rate and off you go you know it's it's probably the easiest way if you're doing that if you want more in-depth information and you really want to take your testing and tracking seriously then I think you need to look at Google Analytics there's an awful lot more in there and you're gonna find you get a lot more uh, from that I think so this is Google Analytics and AW stats the two uh, methods of tracking information on your website I've shown you how to calculate your conversion rate it's the number of sales divided by the number of visitors times 100 that will give you your conversion rate and uh, I've shown you some more interesting statistics here now if you want to find out more about Google Analytics just go into the education and watch the videos there they'll show you everything you need to know and uh, it's going to be a lot easier for you to understand that uh, I would definitely set up a um, Google Analytics on every single website I create simply because it's just good practice and then you've got them there you got the statistics if you decide you want to do it and also if you choose to sell a website in the future just having those analytics stats can really uh, bump the price up when people see that your uh, website statistics are, are actually real so um, very very useful information for you there and that's basically two ways of tracking your uh, statistics and it's simple to do remember to install analytics and either use that or use this but always install analytics whatever you do anyway